Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is a car I'm going to be painting. It's for a friend. It's a Honda Civic. We already did a little body work on it. But, um, yeah, this is it. I'm going to show you guys what we got, what materials, and how much it costs. And you guys could, you know, paint your own car, too, if you want to try it. All right, this is the materials we got. It was cheaper to get the gallon. You get smaller ones, but it's cheaper to get the gallon. While you get, it might be a few bucks more for the whole gallon, so we just went with the gallon. A thinner, and we got the reducer. We got the paint for the car. He's gonna go with the, the same color, just repaint it. We got a tack rag. They gave us that tack rag at the paint shop or paint store supply. And we bought some adhesive for the front bumper so the paint could stick on it. And we got three rolls of tape. We got some Bondo. We got the clear. This is the clear and here's the hardener. That came together as a set I guess but. and we had for the um, the body work he wanted well I kind of just wanted to do it so take out some of the dings on his car I didn't get all of them I just did some of them and we got this uh, quart of primer it probably would have been cheaper if I would have got well not cheaper but I probably, I pro probably could have got a whole gallon for you know, probably 25 bucks, so. But we didn't eat that much. We're just trying to stay on a budget. They gave us this cup and the strainers, and we got like four sheets of 600 sandpaper. Well, two, I think two 600 and two 800 to water sand the car. And we got some scotch, um, pads to uh, go around all the edges that are kind of hard to get to and that's kind of what you need if uh, you can go cheaper if you um, if you get rid of the primer the bondo and you'll if you're just gonna straight sand it and paint it and um, you could just get the water sandpaper and the paint and the clear but you know you're not going to do any body work so you could save money like that but here's the um what we what we paid for it there it says 253 and i had to go back to get the um reducer and that adhesive promoter for the bumper and that came up to 30. and we got this the bondo at AutoZone for like 12 bucks so I don't know roughly around 250 to 300 dollars you go fully paint your car that's all the materials you're gonna need oh yeah then we got a roll of paper too there's a roll of paper we got that so we can mask it up it's not very much but here's the prices I don't know if you guys want to pause it and look Yeah, that's it. I'll show you guys when I'm working on the car, getting it ready, prepped up. Okay, you guys, right now I'm gonna water sand the car with 800. Water sand paper. I just have a bowl, I don't have a bucket right now. So I've got a big bowl, I put a little bit of soap and I'm gonna water sand it. All right, guys, we got it all, all water sanded. Okay, I still gotta do the roof. I'm gonna do that right now. 
And you guys um, wipe down the car with like a damp rag to get any like rough dirt or anything anything that's on it because it could scratch kind of leave deep scratches and if you're painting metallics the metallic will fall right in there and you'll see them so wipe the car down and then water sand it and then when you're done water sanding wipe the whole car down again all right i got it all um water sanded now and wiped down now i'm gonna get the the scotch pad and just kind of go over all the little edges like here all the ones that I, it was going to be harder with the sandpaper and get around the mirrors and here and these little edges are here it's kind of shiny still so i want to get all that along here and the whole point of um sanding is so the paint can stick on so if you kind of miss like this edge right here, the paint will get on it, but it'll flake off later. Or it'll flake off easy if you wash the car or something. And I'm gonna get around the door handles. The spots where, oh then don't forget the, the wheel wells right here. <clears throat> Along these, you gotta sand those too. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So. I got it all wiped down. Now I'm gonna start masking it. I'm gonna start off by basically outlining everything I want to get covered. And um, that'll be it. I'm gonna leave the driver's side and the front windshield um, uncovered because I gotta drive it to the garage. So. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, I got most of it all masked up. I just gotta take it in the garage and I'm gonna finish masking the driver's side and the front windshield. And I gotta cover the exhaust and the wheels. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, I got it in the garage. Got it all masked up. I gotta actually cover the wheels, so. So we gotta do that and um, after that I'm gonna blow it off get any uh, dust off in the cracks and stuff and then I can start laying the base and I gotta cover some I gotta cover that TV and some of my other stuff I got in here with some plastic but all right it's almost there all right right now I'm I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use alcohol to degrease it. I didn't buy none of that um, grease and wax remover, so I think alcohol will be okay. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna spray it on the car and wipe it down. I just put it in a spray bottle. So. And I'll wipe the whole car down, get any grease off. So you guys should do that, because you guys try to eliminate getting fish eye. All right, I'm gonna do that right now. All right, I'm gonna start tacking it all off right now. Kind of went over everything, make sure everything's all right. Prepping always takes the longest. So, oh yeah, see, I gotta cover the exhaust. All right, I'm gonna tack it, then I'm gonna start laying down the base. Alright you guys, I got it all 
done. I had a hard time um, figuring out the pressure on my gun and I kind of messed up. It was coming out way too fast. But I got some runs here, a couple here. Once I figured it out, I turned it down and I got it going good and the passenger side came out really good. But I don't know, the other side I could polish out those runs and, but the metallic moved a little bit. So you're gonna see a little flaw in them. For the tools, I got this gun off of Amazon, but I don't know if you guys want to get a cheaper gun. This one was like a hundred bucks or less. And you could probably get away with a, like a 25 gallon compressor. I got a bigger compressor, so it keeps up with the spray gun, but I've seen guys on uh, some other channels, they use like a 25 gallon or one of the Harbor Freight ones, or you could borrow somebody's um, compressor. So Yeah, so uh, that's what you'll need. But yeah, if you guys can like, comment, subscribe, I'll post up some more videos of the car when it's all um, polished and unwrapped. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video.